Every time I say 2240, the actual M.2 size that goes in this ThinkPad E14 is 2242. I kept saying 2240. Don't want you guys to be confused. It's confusing to me now because it's just so many sizes now. And I got confused. So every time you hear me say 2240, I meant 2242 M.2 for the E14. All right. Just wanted to clear that up because I've said a lot in the video. I don't want you guys to look for a drive size that doesn't even exist. What's going on YouTube? Charlie Eugene back with another video. Today in front of me, I have a Lenovo ThinkPad E14 Gen 5. All right. So this is a ThinkPad Gen 5 Lenovo here. This is the i7 13th Gen. Okay, and what I want to do today is just show you guys what the motherboard looks like and I'm going to be popping in some more RAM and I'm going to put in another solid state drive. Okay, this back cover is held in place with seven screws. I've already unscrewed it because it takes time and I'll be honest with you guys. It was a little tough getting this back cover off. What you need to do is get yourself spudger tools. Always get these spudger tools, plastic ones. You could use a, a flathead, but that's, you know, you got to be careful with that because if you dig too deep you might puncture the motherboard you might scratch up the back plate so i highly recommend getting your spudger tool and having more than one start at the hinge area hinge area is going to be the easiest way to attack the back cover to get it open okay what it was a little hard to be honest with you guys but once you get it lifted up a little bit use the other spudger tool leave it in place and then work your way around you'll start to feel it come up if it if it doesn't budge on this side you start with the other side and once you start to get about here it's going to be easy to lift it up but it was a little challenging getting this back cover off but just be take your time and be careful because it does feel like it's going to crack and break all right now let me see you see that you see how it, it already attached that it's already it, this this i'm telling you this back cover just it's like teeth on the back of this uh on the uh on the outer rim of this uh, laptop it's like teeth and once you put it down it, it it attaches itself i'm telling you so all right so now this is your motherboard right here first thing i want to do is clean this cpu fan i can tell that it's a lot of dust in there but it's a pretty easy layout as you can see this is where your ram is this is your, your ram cover here this is your solid state drive and this is your additional solid state drive area now i was a little confused because i have a 2240 this I have a 2240 and a 2230, excuse me. This is a 2240 size. Both of these are 2240 size M.2s. There is no 2280, all right? So you're starting to see these 2240s on a lot of these systems. So this is what this is what we're dealing with now. You're not going to see a lot of those 2280s anymore. So what I had to do, I had to do some MacGyver stuff, which I'll show you guys later. But first thing I want to do is I want to clean this fan. Now, usually you can hold the fan down and then spray, but I'm going to have to put my finger in here and kind of work at it. All right. Yeah, that thing was dusty. I knew it was dusty. I might, I might even need to get a toothbrush. Let me see. Oh, it was, it was dusty. So hold, hold these fans. You don't want to just let it spin because you don't want to mess your motor up. So it's just better to hold it. And spray. Yeah, that's the first thing I do, man. Is the fan. Yeah, it looks a lot better, a ton, a lot better. So that's the first thing I do. And now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to take this out. I'm going to leave this in place. That's going to stay there. But I'm going to be popping in a 2230, a much smaller. My son's in the background, so bear with me, man. He's making a lot of noise. He's excited because Christmas, he got a lot of toys and he's going nuts. All right, so what I'm going to do now is see this size. This is a. 2230 really a 2240 is supposed to fit in here for the screw but I'm, i jerry rigged it so what i did as you can see i tore a piece of the uh thermal uh what is it what do they call this thermal um pad that's what they call them thermal pad because it's double sided sticky on both sides i tore a piece off of this one and i put it on here and i'm also going to use this ribbon right here if you see this ribbon right here i'm going to use this to kind of hold it hold it down all right so this is a jerry rig if you got two uh 2240s you don't have to worry about this but this is a 2230 is a smaller size and i was like wow so let me do this first let's pop this in pop this in and then what i want to do is in i'm going to put it i feel like it's going to break let me make sure maybe maybe my thermal paste 
I mean, this thermal pad, it might be too thick. So, you know what? Scratch that. Let's let's take this out. We're going to leave that to the side. What I'm going to do, I'm going to see if it works. I'm just going to pop it in so it fits. And what I'm going to do is put this ribbon over it. So, that's to keep it that's to keep it down because this ribbon is pretty, has a little bit of weight to it, all right? So, that's MacGyver. That's a MacGyver move right there. If you guys are old enough to remember MacGyver, that's what that's going to do. I'm going to leave that just like that. All right, because you see, as you can see, it doesn't fit the 2240 size. All right, so let's take this uh, cap off of the RAM. This is where your RAM lives. We're going to take the cap off. It's better to use this than my fingers. I'm always using my fingers for everything. It should be easy to get this cap off. Let's see. There we go. All right, so there you go. So with this model... It uses a RAM chip, all right, and it uses soldered RAM. So this is your soldered RAM. There's two configurations. My model is the 8 gig solder. You might have the 16 gig solder. The most amount you can ha handle in this is 32 gig chip for the, uh, the actual uh, RAM chip, right? 32 gigs. Right now, this is 16. So I'm going to be at, what, uh, 16 plus 8. What is that? I'm not good at math, guys. What, 24 gigs, I think it is? I'm not the best at math. So I'm be at 24 gigs. So the max I could use with my model would be 32 plus eight would be 40 gigs. If you had the 16 gig solder, you could put a 32 gig and you would have what? 48, 48 gigs. So that's the max for this machine's 48 gigs. Right now, I'm just trying to at least get it up to 24. All right. So very easy, easy peasy. And also, sorry guys, I forgot to, I forgot to tell you guys. 32 gig ddr4 32 gig ram so this doesn't have ddr5 it's ddr4 3200 ram all right let's pop that line your teeth up i see my son's playing that ipad so loud back there but hey i gotta get this video done for you guys and that's it that's what i'm doing for this video that is it I'm, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put the cover back on i'm gonna try to image it i want to see if it's going to read this 2230 drive i'm pretty sure it does and I'm pretty sure this will stay in place, hopefully. I could come up with something else to keep this down. But I think I'm good with that. That's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much it. Pretty much it. So this is what the motherboard looks like on the E14. Very easy job to get this done. Don't need too much to do it. But like I said, you're starting to see those 2280 size drives fade away. I'm starting to see these 2240s a lot more. And I rarely see this. So this is this was a surprise. I don't I don't really see this drive size too much in machines. But anyway, man, if you have any comments, leave them below. Please click the like button. Please subscribe to the channel, man. Please. And I thank everybody for watching my videos. I really do. I just I do this to help people and show people how easy it is to upgrade these systems. And I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Charlie Eugene, see you guys on the next one. Peace.